Welcome back. Well, here we are, and we have pre-composed our graphics and type layer, and we're now ready to work with editing some video. So as of right now, this video is too long, and what I'd like for it is to... Uh, well, I'd like to feather the edges a little bit. I'd like to fade it in and out. I'd like it to come in at a slightly different point in time and I would like to edit the length. So we're going to do all that and it is very easy. First of all, um, I'm just going to go to the moment in time I want it to drop in, which is right about the time that the word animation is flying in. So here's where I want its final position to be, right there at the edges of the word animation. And so here's a rough approximation of what I want, except that I actually want the video to start here. So I want it to fade in while the animation, the word animation is coming in. So first thing I'm going to do is just simply drag this to the beginning point. So now it just pops in and I only want the slightest bit of it in and I need to choose that part. So this is a fairly long video. Okay, so the best way, this is what I've shown you is not the best way to do it. What we want to do actually is I want this part here where my I'm showing that cool stop motion animation and I want it to be done because after all this is just previewing all of the animations for this category. I want it to be done and fade out right there. So what I'm going to do is double click on the video itself. There it is. Okay, so now the video has its own timeline and in and out points here in After Effects. So the in point is here, right here. So this would be our in point. Click. That's our in point. And now let's drag our out point. So our out point is going to be right about when he exits the screen. So I'm going to click out. So now we have a very short video clip and I'm also going to trim our work area to that too. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to that endpoint, and when I play the video, whoops, okay, I need a little bit, little tiny bit more of that video. And actually I think I'm going to have the out point also include the title. So I have about three seconds of video here. All right, so as you can see, it, got, it went ahead and trimmed that clip in my main timeline. Now I'm gonna go back to my composition. And so here we have, okay, so it has, it's coming in just a little bit. It, it can't render it so quickly. So I'm going to move it to the place I want it to be. And it's not going to render the full video, remember, until we, it's rendering in RAM right now. So we need to remember that it's not going to keep up quite as much. Okay, so, and you know what? Let's go back here. I'm going to set my in point. So I'm going to alter my in point. And you can see After Effects in the main timeline altered that, in the main composition timeline. All right, so now we're starting at the right spot. OK, perfect. All right, now there's one thing here that we need to remember. One thing that I've done that I didn't tell you guys is I muted the audio. So this has its own audio, and if you want there to be no audio, we're going to set it to minus 192 decibels. Okay, I don't need to do that because the only audio is him being whisked out of the frame. So I'm going to put that back to zero. But if we want to get rid of the audio, that's how we would mute our audio. All right, so now let's look at this. We want him to fade in and fade out. Well, that's easy enough. So we're going to place our 
um, playhead right there and our transform functions we're going to click on the time for the timeline and get a keyframe for opacity we're going to take that down to zero we're going to make a quick transition here add another keyframe bump it up to 100 percent so he fades in nicely and then he's going to fade out right about there so I'm going to place another keyframe and then I'm going to fade him out right at the 8 second mark. Another keyframe, 0%. Okay, easy enough. Nothing, nothing crazy. So here, here's what we have. There. Okay, so I, you know what? To tell you the truth, I like it when he just comes out and we don't have the title. So I'm going to go back to, I'm going to save. And I'm going to go back to the movie, and I'm going to make the out point I'm going to make the out point before that comes in. There. So actually my out point is going to be right there. Okay, so I've trimmed just a little bit more of that clip. Let's save. Let's go back to the main interface. So here's how it looks. Okay, I like that. Now, I am going to move the opacity keyframes so that they hit the actual video. There we go. So he fades in and he fades out. And there's one other thing that I think I'd like to do. Okay, so I am going to feather the appearance of the edges here just to make it blend a little bit more. So I am going to use a mask. All right, so I want to use a mask so that I can blur the edges of the video. This is our first experience using masks and it's going to be incredibly easy. I'm just going to select that and if I click on the square tool, it automatically creates a mask. Okay, so there we go. Sorry, double click on the square tool. And there's the mask. So look at what we have here, mask one. So the mask has its own set of properties, opacity, feather, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to change the feather. See, this is the, it's locked on both the X and Y dimensions. And I'm gonna feather it around 90 pixels. So let that render there. I'm just going to click away from the mask so that I can see it. I think I want a little bit more. And I think I want a little bit more than that. Okay, so that's about enough. The other thing that we could do is we could take Duskborn Einherr, which actually I'm probably really uh, mispronouncing and I, I'd like to see if maybe actually I don't think this is gonna work but let's see if one of the modes adds to it nope don't like it okay it's kinda cool but we want to show the actual animation so we will keep it in let's try one more mode overlay no we're gonna keep it in normal mode and what we might do is reduce its overall opacity. So right here at this keyframe, it's we are moving from zero to a hundred. So perhaps this keyframe will make it eighty percent, eighty-five percent opacity. And at the next keyframe, I'm going to move forward to the next keyframe. I'm going to make that. So to move back and forth between keyframes, it's better for me to use this than to drag the timeline because I know. I'm getting that exact spot. Okay, so now he has a feathered mask. He fades in and out. We kept his sound. There, okay, that's exactly what I want. All right, so that was easy. So now the next piece in the series is called Yoga Pants. And what we may want to do there is move him a little bit 
for a forward in time so that we can put yoga pants in there as well. Okay, so that I'm gonna, you're gonna use the exact same series of techniques and I want you to do that on your own. All right, thanks for watching.